take time to be holy. Speak off with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitter for service above. So what we will do is that uh, first the Yoruba will read it for me, then we the English will read it together too. John 3 verse 16, I will want the Yoruba to read uh, from the New King James Version. Uh, the New King James Version. Uh, we want the Yoruba now to read. Whether up here, whether you open your Bible. Our Elede Yoruba, our Kappa Pobai. Can we go now? One, two, go. Yoruba. Nitori Olorun fe ala yeto beke ti o fi omo bibi re kaso sofuni ki eni ke ni ti o bagba bo ma ba shigbe suba kole ni yi aini peku. Yes, uh, with the English. Can we go? One, two, go. All that I'm going to say today will be based on this verse. Number one, we're going to see the love of God. We're going to see the gift of God. We want to see the recipient of those gifts of God. We are going to see the danger of perishing. As if we are also going to see the benefit of receiving. On these five premises, we are going to devote ourselves this morning. I read again, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Nitori Olorun fi araye to bege ti o si fi omo bibi kan so so fun ni ki eni ke ni ti o ba gba pe won ba se pe sugbo ko le ni yi ti ko ni pekun. This verse reveal the very heart of God. Ese bibeli fi o kan Olorun ha wa. The theologian said in the greatest verse in the Bible. Awon oni won bibeli won ni ese bibeli nla ni. And I want to agree with them that this is the great verse in the Bible. Because when man turned his back against God in the Garden of Eden, it was that law that made God to say, I am sending my son. When God called Abraham that Abraham should leave his own land and go to another land so that God would preserve that seed, it was because of that law. God went to Egypt to deliver a nation 
Why? Because that nation was the carrier of the seed of God, the love of God. This verse revealed the heart of the and the purpose of God. This great truth, it is the thing that um, motivated his plan of salvation. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. This the name war is not talking about trees. Trees, trees. It's not talking about the environment. It's talking about the humans in the world. Because without humans in the world, the world is useless. Without humans in the world, there's nothing God will gain in the world. For whatever is in the world today, it is there because of we humans. So, God loved the world. Number one, the love of God for man. The love of God for man. We are going to read First Timothy chapter 2. First Timothy chapter 2. Timothy chapter 2. And we are going to read verse 4. First Timothy 2 verse 4. Timothy Kini Orikeji. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, the love of God. God will want all men to be saved. In Jeremiah chapter 31. Jeremiah 31 and verse 3. Jeremiah Ori Verse 3 says, The Lord had appeared of old unto me, saying, Ye, yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Oluwa ti fi ara han fun mi, lati o kere pe, ni to to, emi ti fi fe ara ye fe o. In this passage, you can see God in action. He, God is saying, I love man with an everlasting love. To buttress this, that truly God loved man with an everlasting love. What has not man done? To offend God. Is there anything that man has not done to offend God? Is there any sin that need to be committed that have not been committed? Is there, is there any atrocity that needed to be done that have not been done? Is there any evil that human need to do that have not been done? Is there any evil that human need to do that why are we still here? Only one thing, the love of God. Because if God will respond to it, all will perish. If God is going to act, all will perish. So because of the everlasting love of God, that's why we are still here. I pray God that all of us here will respond to the word, to the love of God in Jesus' name. The love of God. In Ezekiel, God said, He is not willing that any should die. Only God died to know keep up when you can't get the Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel 18. And verse 23. Ezekiel 18 23. 23 says, Have I any pledge 
danger at all that the wicked should die, said the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and leave the, the love of God. Emi ani nudidu rarape ki eni abuburu ki oku ni oluwa Olorun wi ko se pe ki o yi pada kuro ninu ona re ki o si ye yi. Verse 31 and 32. That's in Ezekiel chapter 18. Iwe Ezekiel kana cast away from you all your transgression. Why by ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel, the love of God? Eta bubu eko ja yinu kuro lodo yi nipe iti e iti fi eko ja esi da oka tutu ati emiti tun fara yi nitori kini e yose ku ile Israeli ifi alone. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, said the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourself and leave the love of God. Nitori pe emiko ni nudidu si ku e ni tioku ni olu walonu wi nitori na e yi ara yi pada ki e si ye ifi alone. Here God was confirming the fact that man was evil. Ibi ifi dire mule pe niya o kufu iwa ibi. It was telling man, I know you are wicked. I know you are bad. You need to be sent to hell. But I don't desire that. Allah will feed you like a mom of Baja or Buru or your call on what body. Super me on my love for you is that you should be saved. If I meet for the big key walk for you, therefore, Tom Nitorina, you bada, Tom, you bada, so that you will leave. Oh, Bali, I pray God Almighty, Mo Badras, your love, Allah, we will all turn. Bobo allow you, Bada. God will grant us the grace to all talk. Allah will follow the Felati Ibada. Sometimes we may be preachers. Nipa me ali Johnny Wazu. But we knew we know in our heart. Suka money no kawa. Something is wrong. We in kaka in kaka yabo si yako yikodulo. Yesterday when the preaching was going on, ni ano ni ba ti oro lolo lolo. The, a thought just flashed in my mind. Ero kaka wasi okami. I could see the time I was that that is heaven was sure for me i was sure of heaven than anything here on earth but the more i went into preaching into working for god that thought disappeared and i was wondering what happened to it i don't know what happened to it you can get lost in the midst of the service of the lord you may be severe from God Himself, yet you are in the service of the Lord. Only Jesus, your Lord, call on Roman Mo, Sibe, Osi, Sisefu. Here I'm trying to show you. Nitori na mo, I be if you have. God love man. Allah no fear in here. God's love for man is deep enough to impress every woman on earth. Oh, if you are not fear in here, oh Jesus, Lord, you put bread in here, lie here. The love of God is so wide. That covers the whole earth. Everybody can have access to that law. If you are not a fegan, Osi Bubu Boye, Bubu Enya, Lole, Lole, Lole. The law of God goes into the interior, to the primitive people. Is there deep enough for any primitive person to be to have access to this law of God? If you are not a lot genius, you are not one in Ibo. So keep Bubu Enya, go by the salary back with Fei. The next thing. That love of God motivated God to give. If you're lonely, you know, you're lonely, but by that you think of what? He gave his son. In the verse, he said, For God so loved the world and gave his son. Oh, fear, man, and for as a Bible, it's a car, okay, or no, if you're like to beg, what's if you're my baby, because so far in John chapter 10, John chapter 10, you wait, you are no Rikawa, John chapter 10, you are no Rikawa, verse 17, yes, and 18. Here you see that God loved the world. Nibi la tiri pe olorun fera aye and he gave his son. O si fi omo re fun wa. But son himself is his God. Omo gege fun ra re Olorun ni. What did the son do? Kini omo na se fun wa. Verse 17. Therefore, doth my father love me because I laid down my life that I may take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have 
power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Ni tori na ni baba baba se fe fe ran mi ni tori ti mo fi emi mi lele ki emi ki o le tun gba eniken ni ko gba lowo mi sugbon mo fi lele fun ara mi mo si ni agbara lati fi lele mo ni agbara lati tun gba ase yi ni mo ti gba lati odo baba mi wa here we are saying god gave his son ni bi lati ri pe olorun fi omo bibi kan fun wa the son offered himself as a sacrifice to satisfy the love of God. He said, I gave myself, I laid down my life. Therefore, the Father loved me. The desire of the Father in the whole people of God are loved by him. And he want them saved. The Son now satisfied. That longing of the Father. If you are not if you are not God gave the son who also gave himself willingly as an offering to pay the price for sin. This act was complete. The act of payment of man's sin was complete, not to remain. God loved. If you the son satisfied the love of God. If you that we can see what, what the Godhead have done. They were together in the quest of saving man and loving man. They work, they work in, in the Trinity that the salvation of man will be made perfect. A team up together so that you and I will receive salvation. What should be our response to the love of God? What should be our response to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for our sin? Something must need to be practically done. To, to, Make us see truly God love, love us. And the Son have given Himself for us. Let's see Romans chapter eight. Romans chapter eight. And we read verse thirty-two. Romans eight thirty-two said, "He that spared not His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all." How shall he not with him with him also freely give us all things? Any tiko down monti kalara de si subati ojo wore lo wa fun bobo wa yo ati she tiki yo fu ani ongo bobo pelu re lo fe. Yeah, he's saying that if God could sacrifice his son, ibi iso pe ti ano nuba le fi omere rubo. If God could give up his son, ti ano nuba le fu ano omere for our salvation. Nitori balatiwa. Is there anything that? God cannot do for us. Then why do you look on people for your supply? Why do you look on people to give you money? God is saying, I have sacrificed the best. God is saying, my love for you have made me to, to give my all. My eternal soul, I gave him for man. Yet, what do you think? Can I not give you? Is there anything? Can I not give? He has sacrificed all for us. Pastor, please. Look on God. From today, make up your mind. I will not look on man. I will look on God for my supply. Tell people what God want them to do, whether they do it or not. That's not your problem. So far, when you are on top of your shit, but I want to show you Tell people, God want us to build a house. Tell them if they build it or don't build it. That's not your problem. Have you ever seen a messenger sitting on the place of the, the manager to, to do something that the manager is supposed to do? 
C'est I am a messenger. So can you say it again? Just give the message and keep quiet. And the person who sent you who settled it. He knows what to do. Oh now go to number three now. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Man is to respond by believing. For God so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believed in him. This is your responsibility. God loved the world. The son sacrificed to pay for the penalty of man. Make that love available for us. That we may be able to have access to it. The love of God. If you are not what are you to do? Respond. By, by doing what? Just believing. Just believing. What does that believing mean? What do you mean to say believe? Is the Greek word called pistil. Only or the Greek penny pistol. I'm going to divide it into three. That word I'm going to give you a meaning of that word in three places. Because this word has three elements. For the glory, you need a sum of the meta. Number one, a la coco. That belief and faith, they are akin, they are they are together, they are in the same action. Believe in faith. Is confident that Jesus Christ is God's son. And the only savior for spiritually lost humanity. When, when, we are, when the Bible is saying believe, you are accepting that Jesus Christ is the only God's son. This is very cardinal in our belief, in our action to Christ. This belief is lacking. You may believe other prophets. You may believe other traditions. You may believe other religion. But this belief means is that, is that you believe that Jesus Christ is the only God's own son. And that he is the only savior for spiritually lost world. If you believe like that, he is the only God's son. He is the only savior of the lost world. As a believer, there's no rest for you. Everybody outside Christ is lost. The kings and the kingdoms of the world outside Christ, they are lost. And for that reason, no true born again child of God should remain passive to the act of soul winning. No, any true child of God will show indifferent to the act of soul winning. Because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is the only one that can save the lost world. That's faith. That believing in Jesus. That's what you were saying. If whosoever believed in him, that you are believing on what Christ has done. You are believing that Christ is the only Savior. You are believing that Christ is the only deliverer of the world. Then we need to go to those naked women we see in America. We need to make effort to reach 
those people in the east that are follow other religion then half or maybe three quarter or half of the world is in asia and i think 80 percent of them or 90 have nothing to do with christ asia is in billions Asia is billion in the world. It's not a million. They are in billion. When it's a million, a billion in the world. And because of that, it must concern the church of today. It must concern the believers of today. If we need to reduce the quality of our building for the sake of reaching Asia, we must wake up to do that. Why? Because Jesus is the only Savior to spiritually lost humanity. And the men and women are in Asia. We're not only going to send people, we're going to plan it. We're going to work after, we're going to pray for it. Ah, Nika Lobe, Nika, how she shall the Lord, how bad will the Lord? I read a book recently. Mokai wake a life, eh? The name of the book is Heavenly Man. Oruko e wey ni Heavenly Man. When when I read that book, I started crying. Ni ba ti mo kawe i mo be si soku. But when I read the portion I was reading, I started crying. Ni ba ti mo unka mo be si soku. My driver was shocked. Any hour come here, be a ruba. What's happened to this man now? Kini soku ni ba? I was crying. Mo soku. I was crying because we have every liberty, every opportunity to work for God than other people. Ani anfani, ani ori ofela ti shi shefo lo nju awo to kulo. And yet we are not using it. Sibe a lu anfani yi. The man is a Chinese. A Chinese si lo kuni yi. They have determined. What you kuno? That they are going to carry the gospel from China to Jerusalem. When we are going to carry the China to Jerusalem, and they said. Between them and Jerusalem, Iran is there. And to break through Iran, it will have to cost them. And the So part of their training, part of their training is that in you have to climb uh upstairs and jump down. Whether you break your hand or your leg doesn't matter. It's part of training because the place they are going to pass through. They may have problem more than breaking of hand and jumping from and, and jumping from. La re koti o ko ni kwe wo go o ile alaja meta wo wa belule o ba kan la ba ko kan wo tori lara ju wo la ko ja lo ta pa ba ti kan ko si onu. They say the gospel came from Jerusalem. They will return it back to Jerusalem. No matter what is on the way. Mo ni ile re wa la ti Jerusalem. I want to talk about si Jerusalem. Oh yo ko sele. The privilege God have given to Nigeria cannot be compared in any any nation in the world. Anfani ti Olorun fun orilede Nigeria a o le fi we awon orilede toku. The greatest preachers today who can tell you true about gospel they in Nigeria. Oni wa so titon to le so titon nipa irere o wa ni Nigeria. Nigerians are the people that are really evangelistic and the people are hungry for God. Nigeria. Nigeria je orilede ta pa won eniyan po nbe fo Olorun ti nsin wa so irere. There are people because they have been traditional, they have served many gods. Now they have discovered there is one God. They are rushing to that God. But we lack the strength and the determination and the, 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 the enablement to push forward to make a breakthrough. As long as Asia remains under Hinduism, Shantoism, and whatever things that are there, we have done nothing yet in Nigeria. Be aware, she has a walambe Hinduism. At our zim toku lo, our shinka kaludi le de Nigeria. The world is waiting for you. Ono unduo dio. In that, in that underground group, la la re awo ebewe yi. They they will get the Bible and share it book by book. Wa wa bibeli, wa wa kwe ni pele ni pele. One Bible, then the whole group will share. Okay, you carry John. The other one carry Matthew. The other one carry. And then they rotating like that from family to family to read. Bibeli kan iwo mu ju anu iwo mu romu wa wa ma se la ni dile kan si ra won. Since 1888, the Yoruba Bible was translated into Yoruba language. We have uh, we have Bible enough for every family. 
1988 we have the privilege of, of, of that of, of that english bibles are assorted may we arise to our challenge number two faith is an act of surrender that turns over to christ the leadership of one's life faith is an act when you say whosoever believeth in god is saying that you surrender the leadership of your life to christ totally it's an attitude of submission that continues to obey christ throughout lifetime it's an act of surrender of one's leadership to Christ. Oji ona ta nfi yon da mbobo fu Christi. Is an attitude that of submission that submit to Christ to obey him throughout life. Oji ona re re ni sile si Christi ni bobo jo aye wa. I ask you. Mo wa fe biwa. Do you believe in Christ? So gba gbo ninu Christi. Are this sin sin in your life? Se ko si awon ese ninu aye wa. Have you truly surrendered your life? Right. the leadership of your life the leadership of your being totally submit to him to be directed by him to be guided by him to be led by him that's faith I believe. 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 I as he ought to do. I discovered some time in our country. We joined the church of our fathers. We joined the, the church of our parents. Or the church of our people. Not that there's a genuine faith or trust in Christ. There is no genuine submission of will and mind and heart to God. And therefore, we can pull it away. When we come to church, we put it on. When we come to church, we put it on. Because it is fake. Because it is not true. See a woman in the church. And go and see that same woman in, in office. You, you will be shocked that that's the woman you saw in the church. So when we're talking about faith, we're talking about the act of surrender. Turns over to Christ, the leadership of one's life. It's an attitude of submission. That to obey Christ. Number three. Number three, faith is an act of trust. An assurance that Christ is both able and willing to complete the work of salvation. In your life. That Christ is willing and able to complete the act of salvation in your life and to bring you over to heaven at last that is you you so believe in christ and you you have that confidence in him and assurance that christ, the person i'm depending upon this person i'm relying upon he has all the ability he has all the the, the, the graces to carry me to the end to heaven. Let it be 
me lo si ijobo olorun ni kan that faith igbagbo yi ba believe igbagbo ni is a total surrender o je iyo iyo nda re ni total yieldedness ati yiyi re ni sodo re believe is a true bible in a true biblical sense it's not just mental exercise igbagbo ni pa ti bible ke se ah ere taraya ni kan it is an active trust that surrender the leadership of one's life to cry o ti ona igbekele ati yiyo nda re ni pata pata fu christi it's not a mental exercise it's an active trust i used to say the way i understand trust is to put something behind you and you lean on it the failure of that thing is your ring that's what i understand by trust that is is to put something behind you and you lean on it that the failure of that thing is your ring Okay, but you open to say you are not solely in Kenya. But in Kenya, but Jaw Kule, oh, 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 no worry. That is, you you are so lean on Christ to the point that without Him, you are just nothing. But on back and the Christy, but like the Christy or Jaman Kaka. Not on, not only that. Real faith continues to show trust through selfless action, obedience to the serve to the service of Christ. If I put out my feet, it burns. With this, I have told you, for God so loved the world, and He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him, I have as explained to you the meaning of belief. If what I say is true, if what I say is true. Are you a believer? Are you a child of God? Are you born again? Are you Christian? Are you Christian? Let me put it another way. You married a wife. You brought her to your house. And yet you can't know her. How long are you going to stay with that woman? Men tell me. Men tell me. And your kule so for me. Will you stay with that woman? Say my people will be in a man talk. Will you stay with that woman? And your kule so no. And yet you won't cry to stay with you. Oh, as if Eki Christi could do better. You won't cry to accommodate you. If Eki Christi could buy you, you want to accept you. If Eki Christi could buy you, and yet you know that you can't do that with your wife. You won't see my people will she be better. You will that with Christ. You know the time she be as if Christi. Is Christ enjoying you? Say Christi in bad order. Is she is is she walking with you, walking in you? Say, Christian, she shall not know when she shall be alone. How far you ever loved? From the time you received Christ today, how far have you gone in Christ? How far have you known Christ? Let's talk about the day. Don't be bad. Bad woni. Ah, it has been so clear. Any new Christian, he shall not be shameful. Amen. Amen. The next thing is that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish. That's the next point. Those who have done what what I just said. Those who have believed Christ. I want to talk about in Christi. They will not perish. They are not going to perish. John chapter three verse sixteen. For God so loved the world. Lord of fire, I to beg. That he gave his only begotten son. Of your mother, be like a soul. That whosoever believeth in him, and he can't go back, 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 shall not perish. Kunishebe, verse thirty-six. Esi ogmasope. He that believeth on the son have everlasting life. And he that believeth not, the son shall not see life. But the rod of God abided in him. Only and he can't go back, 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 back. Kunishebe, so when he can't go back, 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 you should be. He be no longer using belurire. Verse fourteen. Yes, I can relate. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Be Moses to be just so can you give you? Can't be any other side. Must be on many a so can. That whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Kia ni kani toba ba ba koma ba shebe suba kole ni yeti ko ni pekun. Chapter five, verse twenty-four. Ori karo. Ese keni lelogun. Five verse twenty-four. Ori karo ese keni lelogun. Very, very, I say unto you, he that beareth 
my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation that is perish but is passed from death unto life you can see the benefit of believing you will not be condemned in chapter 3 verse 18 he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And it's your bag, but I can't deny that you. Suba, at the day, neka niti ko bag, but let John nito di ko baru koma bibi kasu so ti alone ubo. He that believeth in Him is not condemned. And neka nito bag, but I can't deny that you. This faith I have explained to you. Igba bati musala yere. All you need to do is to get it and really sit down and look at it. Onto e ko sheni pe ba joko wodada. Be like a, a student of mathematics in any of the universities. A particular sum was introduced in the in the class that when he came back home, he sat down and looked at it to the intricacies of it to see whether he understood or not. Remember the formula is always the same. You can you can manufacture your formula to get to the answer. It's the same formula for the north. It's the same formula for the south. Formula kanani ni lao ati wo. It's the same formula to Europe. It's the same formula to China. Formula kanani ni Europe ati ni China. He that believeth in Him is not condemned. Eni keni toba bago akoni dalejo, but has passed from death into life. Subo tire kukoja sinuye. This verse. Gave me confidence when I was born again. I always see myself. I have crossed over. As for the past, as has gone. As, as for the past. For I want to But the future, I am already in the hands of God. What have I done? Because I believed in Jesus. I believed in Jesus. Now what 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 what, 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 what do we say on this matter? Perish. It is the strategic consequence of rejecting God, rejecting to believe in Jesus. The consequence of not believing in what God has done. On a bio tabia a bio upe a bagonti alone she. The tragic consequence to every woman who refused Jesus Christ is that he will must perish. She must perish. A bio fuwe daily ya to ko Jesus Christ is there ni pe yo she be. I know some pastors are creating a heaven for their members. Mama wo luswa kutaka chiwong. They are creating a heaven for their members. Ye chiwong. There is only one heaven for oh. all humans on earth. And there is one sub, the same, the same formula of entrance into that heaven. One. The women must follow that formula. The men must follow that formula. The pastor themselves must follow that formula. And the formula is this. You must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I have told you three things already. What that believe means. You must practically pass through them. To have entrance into the heaven that Jesus has gone to create. I'm saying that perish is the tragic consequence of rejecting God. Rejecting to believe in Jesus. As the only savior of the world. Refusing to believe in Jesus. The consequence is that you will perish. Doesn't, doesn't matter what you have done to church. Doesn't matter how long you have been in the church. Doesn't matter who have baptized you. You will perish. 
and you will perish. And I say again, you will perish. No other way around. Straight. Pray God will help us. The consequence of it, not surrendering one life to the leadership of God, the person will perish. If you refuse to surrender the leadership of your life to, to Jesus Christ, you are going to perish. There is no alternative of going to perish. Not acting. Not accepting the gifts of forgiveness of Jesus, you are going to perish. I buy that Jesus Christ and in Ashebe because Jesus gives forgiveness to as many as believe in Him. Jesus for a need that is for you are to be bad. If you don't believe in Jesus, so bad by Jesus, you are rejecting that forgiveness. Therefore, the result is you will perish. We will not perish. Make up your mind. I will not perish. I am determining this person. I will only hear with my ear. I will never be there. Submit your leadership to Christ. 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 Submit the totality of your life to Christ. You don't want to go by here for Christy. If you don't want to perish, so by faith you will. To perish does not point to physical death. Let this be. But to dreadful reality of spiritual death. Subas sonic by kuwa yira yeti emi. When we are saying pray, we are not talking about dying. As for dying, everybody will die. Whether you are fearful or not, you will die. You are aware of it. You know it. So that you don't need to do that. That one is there. But not to believe in Jesus. Not to accept him as your Lord and leader. You will perish. You will perish. You will perish. You will perish. That the eternal separation from God forever and ever. Iyapa yila yila ti odo lolo lai ati lai lai. May God forgive forbid that. Ki odo lolo koma she baru lai lai. May God forbid that. Odo lolo koma she balai. You will not be there. Ah, we need lots of water. We are hearing. I say after all, we are here. Need to talk to God. After all, we are alive. Ati walai. We own our life. Adi aye wa. We can decide today. Over. If you have turned it over already, you will have to put it more, push it inside more and more. That nothing outside will affect you. We will not perish. And the Lord will make it so it does not. Number four now. Everlasting life. The purpose of all this is that God wants to give us eternal life. We lost the life of God in the garden. We were all born without the life of God, but we have this, we had physical life. That's why you can't be born a Christian. He didn't be Christian. That's why those who are baptized young children, they are playing. They have not been baptized. That Godfather, God 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 what, 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 what do we need to do? Here we are, we are being told all those that believe in Christ without exception without exception all of them have a reward of eternal life. God does not only give them forgiveness he gives them eternal 
eternal life. If you are a believer today, you have eternal life residing in you. And eternal life, a child can have it. My daughter uh, showed the sign of being born again at the age of six. And from that time to today, she have not shifted from that commitment to Christ. At that time, she can be praying and be sharing tears. I'm wondering, this small girl, what does he understand? To our surprise, she remained committed like that and she got married. You, uh, at the age of six, you can be born again. So I'm saying the reason is because we, we, that we have to have eternal life. We lost it in Eden. Now, when we believe in Christ, we are rewarded by eternal life, everlasting life. In John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so whosoever believeth in him shall not perish have everlasting life. If you have believed if you are a child of God, you have eternal life. Everlasting life is God's gift to those who accept Christ's sacrifice and forgiveness of sin. If you accept Christ's sacrifice, if you believe in Him, you are forgiven. And you have eternal life. And because you are born again, and because you are spiritually now born again, you have been quickened, you have been re, uh, resuscitated from your deadness of your spirit. You have become alive. Nobody's born a Christian. Two born again believers. Cannot born a Christian. Stop pampering your children. I, I repeat. Two born again believers. Two holy believers. Cannot born a Christian. It is personal choice. You have to come to an age. That you understand what you are doing, and you will personally choose to follow Christ. Those people are said they will born again. They have eternal life. God will bless you with eternal life. The Lord will make it possible for us. Eternal life is our own. It is not something can be earned by good works or personal effort. It's a gift that must be received. I think we should tell ourselves the truth. Sometimes you have a desire to be to, to serve God. And yet you don't know. And because of your zeal the people give you be this, you be this, you be this, you be that. And sometimes they will even say, okay, go to Bible school. And yet you are not born again. And you are not telling us the truth. You are allowing Satan to, to confuse you. And such people are always difficult to be saved. And such people are always difficult to be saved. Difficult to be saved. The head is very heavy. Their heart is empty. I only want it to be or come so before. One thing is this. On Kalilei, you know about it. On Manipare. What do I say? Kilimasa. You know about it. You are the Because you can't lie to yourself. Tolipe ole paro sirare. So, but if we will come to God, so but tia bakpa da waso bono his way. Then heaven is sure for us. Eternal life is more than, uh, than simply living forever. 
it is a quality of existence that begins even in this life eternal life it's not just that I will go to heaven that is part of it that is true but it is a quality of life that as you are in this world and because you have eternal life you are not being motivated by the things of the world you are only motivated by the heavenly things that's why Colossians said this Colossians chapter 3 Colossians chapter 3 we are starting from verse 1 Colossians chapter 3 Verse 1. If it then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. It's a life pattern that makes heaven real for you that the things of earth become strangely dim as a, song, as a songwriter said the things on earth become strangely dim I mean the things you love most before when you sin they mean nothing to you again the thing that you cherish most they mean nothing again have you had that experience you that say you were born again and you still take uh, some palm wine once in a while you are still alive my friend you have not died those who died I want to cool. don't respond to this world don't respond to the world above so we are saying and so we, that this eternal life we are talking about is a life being lived uh, like though it is to be in heaven yet here on earth you are living that life that the world have no effect on you the function of the world have no effect on you I mean we are adults we, we understand how is the world to you what occupies your mind if there was Paul today would you have been here if there was ball, they play ball today. Would, would, it, would okay. they have been here? Okay. If there was a business contract that you have to go to, to Lagos, would you have been here? I'm talking of eternal life that is being lived here on earth. We are talking of eternal life that is present in the present state now if you don't understand may God of heaven open your eyes if you don't understand may the God of heaven open your heart you understand that the eternal life we are talking about it's a type of life that includes the life here on earth it includes the fashion of art. You know the meaning of eclipse. When the sun, when the moon will cover the sun, you understand? That 
when you have that life you are in fact as you are going on you are taught somewhere you are thinking of compassion of you you are thinking how to serve god better you are thinking how to give well but she no wa mo ronu bo se yi awon ka pada bo se wa su irere well pastor i have been pastor for years don't, don't say i'm uh, against you i'm not against you i'm pastor o lu so aguta ni mi fa emo yodun se eyan yen o lu so aguta mi o ta ko yin pastor if they don't pay you three months in your church will you preach o lu so aguta ti wo ba san wo fo fo su meta se wa wa su three months o su meta they didn't pay you wo san wo will you preach se wa tu wa su i ask you mo bi wa who employ you ta lo gba o sise god or your church se olorun aba wo ijo in my village is baptist baptist is my village ni abule te bi ijo baptist wa me so invariably i'm baptist to ba je pe mo ba je omo ijo baptist i don't know how we school with our pastors ah ni lo ka mo ja gudu pe lori so i don't pay them no preaching ta ba ti wa su fun e ba ti so wo wa wa su is a man that that employ them eyan lo gba won sise so they making trouble with the man wa ma ba yan ja if you have eternal life to ba ni ye ti ko ni pe and your father who is in heaven ati baba re tin be ni o employ you o pe o sise yi you will not ask ma o ni bi eniyan you will go to him wa lo sojo e do you know the reason why a suffering pastor se mo idi ta won lo so ku ta fin ti ya you allow human beings to employ you e gba ka won eniyan ku o gba yin sise please resign from there oya I mean, in your mind, resign. Ni no kan re file. From today, lati oni lo. God employs me. Olorun iwo lo pe mi sise yi. It was George Muller. I think George Muller. George Muller ni. He came to the point in his life he now announced in the church, no police will pay him. It no you don't want to collect salary again from anybody. O sise ran se de bi kan ni lo aye re. O wa kede ni mi jo. E ma sawo su fun mi lo. No police should pay him. Any kaka o godo sawo fun mi lo. He now surrendered to God to pay him. Oh, what bonus your Lord will lend you, Pata Pata? He was still the pastor. Oh, she to jail us all. He was still working for God. Oh, she 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 for Lord. And having an orphanage, orphanage. I want to lie in the Baba Ati, lie in here. And yet, he prospered in ministry more than before. Oh, she says he already knew himself and said, "You are telling your Lord." He was a man like us. He is a bit wani, pastor friend. And you will go to her. Let's have everlasting love. Let's get in deep into it. You are poor because you allow man to employ you. The Lord will help us. We will now resign from our faith. Go and resign from your church. I didn't say go and resign from your church. But from your mind. So when you walk away, you resign. Why resign? And say, God, now I commit myself to you. Wait. Employ me. Oh no, 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 no so because of the way she was talking i asked her if god don't want you to have a child what will you do she kept quiet i mean god when your lord who created you in his mind he doesn't want you to have a child what happened she said she will submit i said that you have answer you don't have problem again. Oh, nice, Roma. Live your life peacefully. Be be a year and you are Don't to stop anybody. Not die in the kind of love. Don't stop your your husband. Not die for the love. Live as God wants you to live. Be be a year and follow the same thing. Brother, Ara, I've come to the end of my message. Moti wasi pari wasi. For God so loved the world. Allah ufi ara ito begi. That He gave His only begotten Son. Ufi amabi bi rekasu sofuni. Who so ever believed in Him? Shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Have you truly believed? So take by bonnie to talk. Have you surrendered your leadership to God? So if you put daddy for long, are you living heaven on earth, everlasting life? So big be a year on unilwa ye ye tiko ni pe kum. How did you assess your spiritual life now? 
by what you have had today how did you access your spiritual life what will you do now how, will, how are you going to pray now that God will take over your life completely along you by Sakusa Yere. From this moment forward, you are living for nobody but for Christ. For Christ only. For Christ only. For Christ only. For Christ only. For whatever stage Christ wants me to be. For Christ only. 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 For I surrender to it. I yield myself to it. Today, you have a new beginning. Today, you have a new day. Today, the Lord is going to reach you. The blessings of God will be shower you. you stand on your feet and let us pray? Do you stand on your feet to let us pray? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life is yours now. Yes, you will be a partaker in the everlasting life. Close your eyes and listen. What will do with the message? This is time to talk to God. This is time to tell him what we are. This is time to say, God, here am I. The Lord is waiting for you. Are you going to open up? Are you going to give me a chance to have to have all of you? All of all of your person the totality of your life completely yielded to him are as the lord as the lord to help you Ask the Lord to give us grace. So follow, look, follow your faith. Learn more truth that will take us to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father, for speaking to us in this manner. Worship your name, my Lord. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683 Four three two three. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail dot com. God bless you. 
God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
Oh, 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 oh,